main source of uh, entertainment. But there was one memorable occasion when there was a big Elvis Presley convention. <laughs> <laughs> the Ballygully Elvis strutted, chest exposed, and white bell bottoms. Practice curls of the lip from the Oma Elvis and a handful of diaphanous scarves to be thrown into the crowd. The Bundoran Elvis managed so much droop on his lopsided smile, he appeared to be having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was in a Vegas frame of mind, rhinestones fingered as though they were rosary beads. <laughs> Three hours later, I sat with the disappointed, their makeup beginning to run. Slowly, they circled back to themselves, morose, deflated, and less than they had been. Forty years in Elvis, one lamented, had nothing to show. <laughs> Already, it was too late. Young hip swingers were coming through in Carrick Macross and Caledon and Donegal Town, sounding more like the real thing than the real thing. His sunglasses, his glossy sideburns would all go to waste unless he could reinvent himself. As Engelbert Humperdinck for <laughs> <laughs> or Roy Orbison or Johnny Cash. Who would want to be himself any longer than he had to? Mercy, he growls into an imaginary mic, then plays the opening chords of Pretty Woman like a man who has been practicing. <laughs> Uh, for